I'm guessing that the first time your voice cracked announcing the rated R superstar, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> well, the, the whole thing, how that started was I used to travel around with Jimmy Corderas referee and, uh, you know, we would talk and solve the world's problems and just solve every problem, you know, in WWE or whatever. And, you know, we would just be talking about stuff. And if somebody said something stupid or somebody did something stupid, we would say something like wild E coyote, super genius, you know? So when the Mexicals came to WWE, I started uh, introducing uh, super crazy. And I did him as super crazy. And uh, then they left. And then when Edge became the rated R superstar, I started introducing him as the, the rated R superstar. And he loved it. And, you know, he would love it every time I did it. And I was happy to do it. And I was glad that he loved it. And um, he would always say when he, like, after he retired, he'd show up every once in a while and he would come to a show or be at a show. He'd be like, Chimel, you got your suit? You're going to introduce me tonight. I'm like, really? <laughs> I didn't even know you were coming, <laughs> you know? But uh, that was fun and always a pleasure to do that. So it was when Beth, yeah. like the first, the first rendition of this was more, you know, I guess, calmer, I guess. And then you, you would work it up as you continue oh, yeah. to do it. Yeah. yeah, the more I, I the, when I played with it and then the fans really liked it and they got on board the more I the more I went with it and you know the more I did it and the longer it got and the higher it got and the better it got you know and then when so, Beth Phoenix went into the Hall of Fame that was that a legitimate surprise for me it, well for me it, you mean for Edge yeah for Edge well yeah when they when they asked me I had no idea and they asked me and I was like in the middle of working in the production office and I'm like I think they asked me like the day before it happened. Beth came over and was like, "Hey, I want you to do this," and I'm like, "Well, I don't have a tux," and you know, I, I said, "I'll, I'll, you know, wing it and we'll do it." You know, my boss was like, "Yeah, Jim, we'll go over there and do it if you have, you know, if you have to do it and you want to do it, go do it." I mean, don't worry about things in the production office. And so I did it. Edge had no idea, but I think once he saw me walk out there on the stage and do it, you know. And when they were going over through the rehearsals of the Hall of Fame and all that, I, I think they were they were telling Vince like, "Hey, this is what's going to happen in this part of Beth's speech," and he's like, "What?" <laughs> and he looks over, he's like, "Chimel, what are you doing?" And I'm like, "Well, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to." He's like, "Okay." <laughs> so 